Hey everyone and welcome to Dark Sun Gaming. My name is Chris and in today's video we're going to be doing my Dragon Ball Super Chapter 70, The Universe's Greatest Warrior manga review. Now, this is pretty interesting. Uh, I did not do a Chapter 69 review. I just obviously got way caught up and before I knew it, Chapter 70 had dropped and I hadn't even read Chapter 69. So, pretty much a quick recap you see that Granola has gone out. He's trying to get his revenge. Um, essentially finds out that there are Dragon Balls out there that he is able to get a hold of and make his wish. And he essentially uh, is back on uh, his home world of uh, planet... Uh, is it cereal? Cereal? Something like that. Cerulean? Cereal? So, um, any which way, he goes through and he finds out there are actually two Dragon Balls. And they're, the person he lives with, the old man, is actually an Amekian. So this is really building a lot on Namekian lore. So this is going to be pretty interesting. But essentially, he asks himself to become the greatest warrior in the universe. The dragon is unable to do this, which I think is kind of worth, you know, pretty good. Um, what's interesting is that he kind of makes a bargain with him, though, is that he tells him that he can make him the strongest if he, basically what he could do is meet his full potential, but he still not, wouldn't be the strongest in the universe and he can live to be around 200 years old. So what he can do is compress all of the time of his life and make him strong. So essentially he takes all the remaining time of his life and compresses it into the amount of energy needed to become the strongest in the universe at that moment, which is very, very key because we all know Saiyans are able to continuously just get stronger after each battle. So he goes through, he says that he'll do whatever it takes. Um, and then, you know, it kind of jumps back to Vegeta trying to learn the Hakai. And this is pretty interesting because at first he's struggling and, and he's just destroying things with key blasts. And Beerus tells him that's not what it is. It's, it's actually you having to turn around and turn... Uh, Hakai is destroying it. It's not just obliterating a rock into dust. It's actually just eliminating it completely from the universe. And the little bit that that happens, it causes the major explosion. So that's where he turns around. He, he starts understanding a little bit better. Um, obviously, Goku's thinking about what's going to be better. Is it going to be the Ultra Instinct? Is it going to be the way of the Destroyer? So it's going to be pretty cool to eventually see what ends up happening. And of course, the Oracle Fish and, and Whis is kind of talking about, well, you know, maybe the strongest is going to kind of show up. And then Fujita's just like, hey, yeah, that's going to be me. And gets pretty excited about it. And then, of course, a, a little bit of banter back and forth. And then he's able to turn around and actually Hakai a pebble. Now, that doesn't seem like much, but the explosion is actually pretty decent just being a, a pebble. And it shows that he has not done much... Uh, training. I mean, well, he's done been doing training, but he he it didn't take him long. He was able to go from not understanding what a Hakai is to being able to obliterate a pebble. So eventually, he's going to be able to turn around and really cause a lot of destruction. So that'll be pretty interesting from there. Then it jumps back to Granola, and then you find out that he has actually made his wish. His wish has come true. He tests his power, and sure enough, I mean, he he's completely strong enough to be able to do anything. Um, then. Uh, uh, the, the uh, Namekian, the old man Namekian, I cannot remember what his name is right now, um, but he, he wakes up and, and realizes, oh no, you know, Granola has turned around and has wished for the dragon to grant him his wish, and he, uh, Granola, you know, he's trying to warn Granola, don't, don't do this, and Granola's like, no, I'm going to go take down Friesen, that's just the way things are going to be, and then for some reason, he is now able to detect energy. Um, which is pretty interesting because you never really noticed that he had that power before. So was he going to gain that power at some point? It's hard to say. So he, he flies off into a spaceship and decides to go ahead and get going. And then there's actually an interesting panel where they show Whis that's seeing him fly away. And uh, Goku and Vegeta are still arguing over which one of them two are, is the strongest in the world. And then Granola go at, goes ahead and kind of 
changes his way he's looking and so on and so forth because his hair gets really long almost kind of looks like a super saiyan 3 but he's not a super saiyan 3 essentially because he he aged all at once so all of his hair grew out so he trims his hair back and and gets kind of prepared to go through and Whis just makes the comment that this is going to be troublesome so granola then goes back to the heaters and he basically interrupts them and they're like uh what do you think you're doing and he makes the decision to just say no i want to know where freeze is that you're going to tell me right now and he's basically refusing to leave. And then they decide, hey, you know what? Go ahead and, you know, show him a lesson. Throw him out of the throne room. And what's important is in chapter 69, he kind of had a run in with uh, oil and gas and, and, and everyone. And I mean, he got mopped. I mean, in a second, he, he wasn't even in their league. And so then when you're jumping across and you're seeing this, I mean, he just instantly dodges and just with one finger just completely annihilates oil, just lays him flat out. And then, of course, everyone's pretty shocked at, at, at how they do this. So they go around, and at first they're trying to figure out, okay, was this magic? You know, he wasn't this powerful before, and they're trying to figure out exactly what's going on. Well, oil continues to attack him, and he just continues to make oil look like a fool. Now, what makes it very difficult is we don't know how strong these guys are. These guys could be like on the level of Deborah for all we know. And you, you just don't understand, okay, well, our heroes have already well surpassed their abilities to this point. Although, for context, I would probably say they're very similar to probably what maybe some of the prisoners were during the uh, Moro arc to where it's hard to say where they're going to be at uh, power scale wise. Although gas, and I'm pretty sure it's gas is you, you get the feeling that he has some more potential that he could really unlock. So uh, oil's going on through, he's just continuously dodging him and it's not an ultra instinct dodge. It's just, he's, he's better. He's, he's just moving. And it's kind of like, think of super saiyan two Gohan going against cell. He's just, he's just dodging. It's, it's, like whatever, I, I don't really care what you can do. And then he's able to just take his uh, uh, shot and just really just obliterate him. So it it goes through and, and gets pretty uh, pretty much taken care of. And then Mackie, who's the uh, the female, is going to go ahead and jump in. And what's interesting is Oil's not done. He jumps and he he throws a, a portion of the floor that he had fallen through towards granola and granola just holds his hand out and it just dis it doesn't really disappear it's like it just becomes sand and you're you're kind of wondering okay this is interesting what's going on it's i don't think it's a hikai because it they, they they did a good job of explaining that the hikai when you use it it causes a major explosion and on the pebble it's a decent explosion well this thing is like a giant rock so if it was a hikai I mean, it would have been similar to when the explosion would have been even greater when Beerus actually hakai Vegeta's armor. So I don't really, really don't think that it's a Hakai. So Mackie goes ahead and decides to jump in, and she's just going to go and take, tear him apart. And you kind of find out that she might have some magical powers. And he just, again, dodging left and right, just really, you know, puts it through her and then that's when gas just goes ahead and jumps in is about ready to take him out and and Alec just says hey nah nah we're cool Let, don't don't engage so you knew at that point because he's just because granola had wished to be the strongest in the universe he would have beaten gas but i think it might have been gas may be a little bit more towards the level of goku and vegeta and maybe not all the way there but i mean he he's definitely up there so they go through and they, they're trying to figure out what's going on. And, and Alec just asks him, how did you become so powerful? You know, we'll tell you the information, but where Freeze is at. But we want you to tell us how power, you know, how did you become so powerful? And he just tells him, okay, fine. I use the Dragon Balls. So now they've had two instances where they found out the Dragon Balls basically can grant anything. And before they heard about Moro and it's, well, is it true? Is it rumor? How much of it's accurate? Well, now they're literally seeing, okay, wait a minute. These Dragon Balls literally just made Granola the strongest person in the universe and humiliated the heaters. So they are now, okay, that's cool. You do what you want to do. We're going to go find these Dragon Balls. So at some point, I would expect the heaters to gather the Dragon Balls from somewhere and turn around and just be like, all right, they're going to wish for something. Are they going to wish to become the strongest in the universe? Are they going to wish for immortality? It's hard to say. We're really going to have to wait and see what's going to happen here. 
But they just go ahead and they start kind of making some decisions and they tell him, hey, we don't know where Freeze is at, but we'll, we'll give us some time. We'll get the information. We'll get it right to you. And, uh, you know, he, he goes ahead and explains at this time that, hey, I can, uh, what the dragon just simply states is that he's able to multiply uh, the current strength that he has uh, over the lifetime and then condense it. So at this point, Granola can only survive three more years. I think that's interesting because I think that's a little bit of a foreshadowing that you're going to find out that this that the length of time of this arc is probably going to be three years. Um, or he's going to sacrifice something through another wish and say, hey, I'm going to gain more power through this. Well, then it kind of cuts back to the heaters and they're, they're talking, they're trying to figure out how he can do it. Well, they don't want him to beat Frieza because you find out through talking with them they are in league with Frieza, and they don't want Frieza just destroyed and his army gone. They want to take it over, and then that way they can become that much more powerful, having Frieza's army and continuing what they're doing. And you find out they're actually going to be the ones that had, had, had gotten Frieza to destroy Planet Serial with the Saiyans. So then they decide that, hey, you know what? 7-3, he fought some Saiyans. So we could just go ahead and tell Granola, hey, we haven't been able to find Frieza yet, but we found some surviving Saiyans. And which you know the second he sees Goku, he's immediately going to think of Bardock. And then that's going to be that. They're going to jump right into it and figure out what's going on because they have a pretty good idea that, that Vegeta and Goku together can turn around and beat Granola. So how is all this going to happen? It's going to be interesting. I mean, you, you definitely see where Goku and Vegeta are going to continue their training. They're going to figure out how strong they can get. It's going to be interesting. Vegeta and Goku don't like to fight with each other. Or excuse me, fight, yeah, fight side by side. So it's going to be interesting to see how well they do. The other thing that we're going to want to try to figure out too is Granola stated, well, who, you, you want to be the strongest in the universe right now. Well, in that moment, you didn't have Fujito, Gogeta. Those are things that could turn around and possibly happen. Personally, I think that's a cop-out. I really hope they don't do something like that. But that is a possibility. I mean, there's lots of different things that are going to turn around. The other important thing to mention when it comes down to him wishing to be Granola, wishing to be the most powerful in the universe, he cannot be stronger than the gods. He is the strongest mortal in the universe. He cannot exceed the power of the gods. He cannot exceed the power of the angels. So they are still top tier number one. So it'll be interesting to see how they're able to go through and, and basically battle it out. Now, there's a couple different things. They're the strongest mortals. Does that mean they're, he is now stronger than Goku and Vegeta? You don't know because they've got God key. They've got God training. Goku is now beginning to learn Ultra Instinct. I, I could see at some point Ultra Instinct still being the top echelon of power, but since it's a, te a technique, it's a, it's a state of being that he's able to get to. And you know that from previous chapters that, that I think it was 68 where, where we specifically says, well, you, you're basically down at the bottom, you know, as, as far as Ultra Instinct users. So you could still have to go up from this point. So it's uh, it's pretty interesting. I don't know. This is this was a good chapter. I think this is going to be something that's going to roll around. I think it's going to be kind of fast, but at the same time, this is all kind of like smokescreen. This is kind of like uh, uh, Android nineteen and twenty causing problems, and then you realize that oh wait, there's sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then oh wait, cells the really big problem. So I still think you're that they're going to build towards something. I think this is nothing more than hey, this is what's going to be going on. We're going to have these guys fight it out, but the real problem is going to be when the heaters turn around and make something go happen and whatever. So this will be interesting. Not to mention, Granola is not a bad guy. He just wants revenge for what happened to his planet. There's a lot of things that can go through, and, and quite honestly, even though he's got a three-year lifespan, Super Dragon Balls could simply bring him back to life. I mean, that's it, it's going to be interesting. So, um, that's pretty much it, guys. That's going to be the review. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below, and what you're looking forward to, and what you guys think will end up happening when Granola faces off against Goku and Vegeta. But otherwise, guys, that's today's video. If you haven't done so already, please make sure you guys are hitting that red subscribe button, and don't forget that notification bell so you're notified each and every time I'm uploading a new video. And, uh, Otherwise, that's it. That's today's video. Thank you very much for watching. We'll talk to you guys later.